Hi there, I'm Channing Reed with your top stories from Zoo TV. The death toll continues to rise from the coronavirus outbreak that originated in Wuhan, China. There are now over 1,000 deaths and over 42,000 confirmed cases worldwide. Now back here at home, the, tw the 12th positive test for the virus was confirmed Monday in Maine by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Earlier this month, when the World Health Organization declared the outbreak a public emergency, the APU Student Health Center advised students in an email about the disease. The center said that there are no known exposures to APU's campus or the city despite multiple reports in December of a girl hospitalized with a form of the virus. The CDC recommends preventative actions to keep the spread of respiratory viruses low, including washing your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after going to the bathroom, before eating, and after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. Despite the confirmed cases of coronavirus in the U.S., officials say the risk of the virus spreading remains low. Rudy Carlton was named the new head coach for APU football last week. The announcement came one week after head coach of 14 seasons Victor Santa Cruz announced his acceptance of an offer to become the defensive coordinator at the University of Hawaii. Carlton, who is no stranger to APU football, was a quarterback for the Cougars for five seasons and then joined the coaching staff in 2008. For 10 seasons, he has been the offensive coordinator and the team's overall points, yards and accolades have become a mainstay under his leadership. President Ferguson endorsed APU Athletic Director Gary Pine's recommendation of Carlton being the next head coach, saying, quote, I am confident that our football program will continue to demonstrate success on and off the field under Coach Carlton. Carlton is the 10th head coach in APU football history. Also making sports headlines, men and women's basketball paved their way to victories over the Chaminade Silver Swords this weekend at home. On Saturday, the men's team faced one of their toughest tests against the Silver Swords, but the Cougars held on and came away with a 75-71 win. The game was fast-paced with constant lead changes, but the Cougars were relentless in their pursuit of victory. On the women's side, the Cougars beat the Silver Swords 76-53. The Cougars came out strong in the first quarter, but Chaminade was able to cut APU's lead to one. However, as the second quarter came around, the Cougars pushed through and never let up until the final buzzer. And on Thursday, the Department of Theater Arts will debut the West Coast premiere of Academy Award winner Aaron Sorkin's new Broadway adaptation of To Kill a Mockingbird in the Warehouse Theater. The powerful play that is based on Harper Lee's original novel focuses on the limits of tolerance and the boundaries of forgiveness and addresses the issues of racism and sexual abuse. A content advisory was issued by the department as the show includes disturbing language and monologues that describe physical abuse. The production will run Thursdays through Saturdays through February 29th at 7.30 p.m. plus matinee performances at 2 p.m. on Saturday. Tickets can be purchased online or at the box office outside the Felix Event Center on West Campus. And now we've got you caught up on the news this week. I'm Channing Reed. Thanks for joining me. You can stay connected with breaking news and the latest, and the latest updates by following Zoo Media on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and by visiting our website, zoonews.com.